everybody. Cave on. Good to be here, good to be alive. Uh, I should address this up front. I was on a Harley Davidson motorcycle last week. Bell going 65 miles per hour. Lucky to be here. Broke my finger. Is that not the gayest injury you could get from a Harley Davidson motorcycle accident? That's not even a good story, right? Harley guy's like, got a bum hip now. I'm like, I broke my finger. Isn't that horrible too? Can't even paint it for a week. That's what the doctor said. <laughs> Trying to be manly, it's not working. I'm not a real manly guy like a lot of the Midwestern dudes I see tonight. I'm LA manly. These are designer muscles. <laughs> These are for looks, okay? These are not for fighting. They're not for Tai Chi. They're for chai tea. I go to Starbucks with these. What's up, ladies? That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm not worried about it. I'm excited to be a comedian because we get to help people through a tough time, like this election that just happened, huh? Oh, yeah. That's right. We got a new president, Chicago. Yay! Some people are triggered, you're loving it. Look at that. We've got both sides covered. Now, some people are nervous. I'm here to help you out, guys. Don't worry. I think it'll be okay. I'm optimistic. There are a few things Donald Trump can do no other president can. I'm thinking this could be good. Day one, $19 trillion debt. Not Donald Trump, he files America for bankruptcy. How are we doing that? <laughs> yes! Take that, China. All right? You're out of debt. Nobody knew it was that easy. He's done it six times before, he'll do it again, okay? I'm thinking next on the agenda, he decides not to move in the White House. He's got a penthouse. We can use the White House Airbnb. More money for America! More money for America! Yes! He's got construction people, put a wall down the middle, make it a duplex, the Obamas don't even have to move out. <laughs> and now he's not evicting a black family, better for racial relations, we're doing good. <laughs> this could be good, and I'm thinking about it. Donald Trump is the only president that comes with his own jet. So now Air Force One could be used for Uber. <laughs> We're gonna be profitable, people. I know. <laughs> he's got big ideas, he's got big plans. People say, how is he gonna do it? How is he gonna build the wall? I figured out a way. Anyone who didn't vote for Donald should have to put one brick at the border. The wall's halfway done. <laughs> it's like 70 million bricks. More bricks than we could imagine. Now, with the remaining portion of border, we just get the illegals who want a path to citizenship to build a five-foot section of wall. They'll do it. The wall will be done overnight. It'll circle the globe twice, okay? It's gonna be great. And the final thing I think he'll do is upgrade the Statue of Liberty. She's not supposed to be green, you guys. You know that, right? He's gonna shine her up, make her copper again. We need to change that dress. It's old. <laughs> You're seeing he puts his arm further back. The more. We need... We need to give her a boob job. What are we doing with this? Why? Why are we welcoming other people with a four? She could be a ten. We need... We need her to look like Melania. Let's make America great again. I just love that we can laugh together because it didn't look like this about two weeks ago. It was, it was rough. Uh, what I hated about the election is we forgot to have fun like the Olympics. Right? The Olympics happened two months ago. Nobody remembers it. Nobody remembers it. There's, no, do you remember, there's two great stories, the swimmers, that was a good one, the swimmers. One is the most winningest Olympian of all time, Michael Phelps, 29 gold medals, amazing. And then the other guy, who's known for defacing a public restroom. It's kind of the tale of two swimmers. It's like, I don't know if you heard, I don't know if you heard this, Ryan Lochte dis destroyed a bathroom and then left. The other swimmers were stuck answering for him. He was yeah. gone. They're like, where did he go? Where's Ryan? How did he get to the airport so fast? Easy, he had no medals to detect. So he was able to He didn't stick around. Nothing buzzed and he just got right through. That wasn't even the best story from the Olympics. That's the problem is that wasn't even the best story. The best story was probably either Usain Bolt who won three uh, Olympics in a row, which has never been done. Or, yes, and or what I think is the best story, nobody remembers, the Asian pole vaulter, okay? Asian pole vaulter going up for a world record. Up, up, up. Egg roll, hits the bar. Bing! Knocks it down. Disqualified. That is sad for an Olympian. But for an Asian man, 
That is the best thing that could have ever happened. I think. I think that is epic because there's a rumor that Asian guys aren't that big down there. He destroyed that at the Olympic level. Okay? The whole world will have to question that stereotype now because it got in the way of his dreams, right? Yeah, that's right. And I looked it up, guess where he played for? Bangkok. And it was amazing. I made that part up. That's what I'm about to do.